What happens when my store sells something that can't be fulfilled right away? Well, that's called a back order. And you may want these or you may not want them. So today what we're going to do is take a closer look at what a back order is and how to configure the Term 14 app for Shopify to either allow this or not allow it. In an ideal world, there's infinite stock and every order that's raised in your store gets fulfilled right away and there's no problems. But in the real world, uh, there's shortages, there's timing issues, there's other things that uh, can get in the way of that, that perfect scenario. So what we're looking at here is a scenario where I had one in stock in my store and an order was created and sent to turn 14, except right at that moment, there was now zero in stock. So this is a kind of race condition. Uh, you can handle this in other ways by you know, adjusting the stock levels. Uh, the turn 14 app for Shopify synchronizes inventory uh, quite frequently, so once an hour, but there are these cases where there'll be um, a mismatch. And so the default behavior for your app is to reject the order. So if there isn't stock available, then the order will be canceled. Now you can override this and enable it in your store such that when that order is sent over, uh, it'll become a back order. And that means it will be delivered as soon as the uh, quantity is available uh, in the warehouse. So let's go over to the store and uh, I'm going to open up my uh, Term 14 app. And right in the orders section, there's a, a new feature. Uh, it's called allow back orders from your store. And of course, this is, uh, is disabled by default, but you can choose to enable it. Uh, when we do that and save, uh, if an order comes in and there isn't stock for a particular product, so let's imagine uh, one of these items here in this order uh, is actually just not in stock. What will happen is uh, when we request the fulfillment, it will go to turn 14 and um, uh, w when that stock is, is noticed as, as not being available, uh, it'll put the order into back order. So that handles the, the, the delivery end of it. Now let's say you want to adjust your products uh, such that you can sell uh, even though there's no stock. So this is a slightly different scenario than what we were talking about earlier. I was mentioning earlier was if there's a race condition and your store shows that there's some in stock, but there actually isn't. But let's say you're confident uh, you can get the order fulfilled, maybe even have local inventory, or you're okay with using the back orders. There's this option here on the product display called continue selling when out of stock. So you can turn this on for the products, the brands. You can even do that for every product in the store and it'll allow Shopify uh, to sell or, or to add, or the, the, the shopper will be able to add those into the cart uh, even though there isn't stock. And if we go into the inventory section, this is where you can do you know, the bulk um, uh, options. So we'll just open up the uh, turn 14 distribution API location. And so in here we can select a large group of them. We can add other filter criteria and then do continue selling when out of stock uh, right here. And so that saves you from having to click on every product individually and then over and over click, you know, that option. So we can do it in bulk here. So if you have any other questions uh, or if you're curious to know more about how inventory works and how our synchronization works, uh, feel free to give us a call or drop us an email. We'll be happy to help you. Have a good day.